Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of the administration phase. In this tutorial, we demonstrate how you can create the different restoration types, from single tooth restorations to implant restorations, using Cerex Software 5. After we have entered our patient data, we are automatically moved to the first phase, the administration phase. In this phase, we define the restoration type for the respective patient case. We can select between a single tooth restoration, a bridge restoration, and an implant restoration. Here we start with the single tooth restoration type, which is already selected. This includes the indications crown, inlay, and onlay, and in the case of anterior teeth, also veneer. Since the Cerex software automatically recognizes the indication after the scan, we continue with the definition of the design mode, the material, and the milling unit. After everything has been selected, all we have to do is to tap the respective position in the odontogram. As a result, all specified information about this case is displayed in the window under Case Details. If necessary, you can edit your specifications again by clicking the pencil icon. Now all settings can be redefined by tapping on the respective drop-down menu. For confirmation, you then tap the little check mark. Of course, the complete restoration can also be deleted from the case details. To do this, tap the waste bin icon and confirm with yes. It might be possible that your patient is missing a tooth, but the gap is closed. In this case, the corresponding position should be entered as missing in the odontogram. Based on this information, the Cerex software can create a first design proposal with a correct morphology. Next, we proceed with the creation of the restoration type, bridge. Then we will determine which type of bridge abutment we are dealing with. We can choose from among crown, inlay, onlay, and veneer. In our case, we tap crown. Next, we select the connector type, anatomic, since this type can be individualized separately. Then we select the material. Now our odontogram is displayed so that we can define the crown positions of our bridge first. In the window under Case Details, a triangle marked in orange is now displayed, indicating that the bridge restoration has not been fully defined yet. In our case, this means that we turn on the Pontic option next and tap the matching position in the odontogram. Now the complete bridge restoration is displayed to the right in the window under Case Details. If we want to modify single elements of the bridge, we can either click on the position in the window under Case Details, or we can select the element in the odontogram. The connectors are marked with a black circle next to the restoration and can be changed with just one click. The icon next to the odontogram has now changed, and in the window under Case Details, Connector Intersection is displayed. With another click, the connector type will change back again. At this point, we delete our restoration and proceed with the implant restoration type. This restoration type also offers different options. We can choose between a screw-retained crown and a multi-layer abutment. If you haven't made a final decision yet about the type of restoration, and you prefer to define this after viewing the initial design proposal, the multi-layer option should be turned on here. This way you can choose the final restoration type in the design phase with the use of the split and unsplit tool. This option won't be available if you select screw-retained crown. However, we will select the screw-retained option, determine the design mode, the material, then the implant manufacturer, as well as the implant type, and with it the matching tie base. Finally, we will determine the scan body type. 
We select the scan post option since our implant is placed subgingivally and the tie base option could potentially be too short for a clear scan of the implant position. As soon as the odontogram is displayed, we determine our implant position. In the case of a multi-layer restoration, you first determine the design mode, the implant manufacturer, and the implant type, just like before. However, the material needs to be selected once for the implant abutment and once for the crown. Apart from this, the procedure in the administration phase is identical. You can, of course, add several or all indications to a patient case. For example, you can set up several single tooth restorations in either the same quadrant or different ones, or combine a crown with a bridge restoration. Before we finish, we would like to mention that after the complete setup of all restorations, you can also turn on the virtual articulator. This will ensure that the related dynamics will be considered for the calculation of the initial design proposal. We switch to the acquisition phase by tapping the button Next at the lower edge of the screen. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with CEREC.